Our next guest is an iconic TV mother, you know, from Gilmore Girls, Parenthood, and now she plays a hockey mom alongside Emilio Estevez in the new series, The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers. New episodes pop up Fridays on Disney+. Plus. Please welcome Lauren Graham. Yeah. Hi, Lauren. Woo. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. Good, how are you? I'm good. You know, we're talking about, today we were talking about the fact that you were on this show before it was even a show. During our, like, test shows, you were nice enough to come and, and do it with me. And uh, I'm sure it was a horrible experience, so I want to apologize for <laughs> It wasn't. It's what's funny is, first of all, I'm such a talk show host nerd that I was like glad to do it. And but but the part of me that I don't identify with anymore is like volunteering to get in hair and makeup and like get in a car and go somewhere like that seems like a me of yesteryear, even pre times. I think it's virus times and all like in all of us of yesteryear right now because yeah. you don't yeah now you just don't really have to go anywhere to do things. It's uh, remarkable. Eventually we'll but be I in was... pods like uh Wally <laughs> no. or something. Yeah. I was thrilled to do it and it was really fun and look at you now. You you made it. Oh yeah, I've really <laughs> blossomed. <laughs> you know um, I'm sure you hear this all the time, but because of Netflix, Gilmore Girls is now has had this huge resurgence, almost to the point where I feel like it's as popular as it was when it was actually on. In fact, my no, cousin, no, it's way more popular. It's it more wasn't popular. that popular. <laughs> we were we were on opposite friends. No one even really knew we were on. It was like it was a miracle every year we got picked up. The people who liked it liked it, but it wasn't like a, a big hit. And no, it's crazy. People, new generations keep watching it and I'm That's gotta thrilled. be so strange to have, to suddenly be asked <laughs> questions by people about the show that was, you know, it was so long ago. I mean, it keeps it alive for me, I guess. And it's fun because it's, you know, different groups of people are finding it and different generations. I just don't want to get to the age where I'm frightening to children, you know? Right. Right. <laughs> Where they're like, where's Lorelai? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you posted a video of uh, a guy who had just seen the show for the first time and was on FaceTime explaining to other people in his family, well, play that, that video. There's a line in the second episode, I laughed so hard. That this this woman said something. It's like she says stuff just real quick. Like somebody will say something, and she'll just say something, and they go right on to the next thing. But what she said, because she's like saying stuff like we would say, that's like so funny that that, that she's gets like she she's just her sense of humor. It's he. <laughs> he somehow managed to say everything while saying nothing at all. I love it. It's so sweet. Well, it's like if you were trying to explain Gilmore Girls to aliens, like why, you know, why, yeah. why are they circling the gazebo and talking so fast? It reminds me, I have an uncle who was a fifth grade teacher and is a painter and isn't like a guy who watches a lot of TV. And he was describing the show to us all. And he's like, you guys, it's funny. It's like, it's not really about anything. But he was like, you guys heard of this show Steinfeld? And we were like, Because <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he, he was watching it in syndication. He didn't even know what that was. So <laughs> there's always there's always a new audience member. For, and you were, for you were on Seinfeld, weren't you? Yes. Yeah, so yes. like, why didn't he, why wasn't that a bigger deal in the family? I don't know. I don't understand, but. <laughs> it seems like it should have been. I feel like Parenthood is a show that was like such a great show and underappreciated. I feel like that should be, that's going to be a show that people <laughs> pick up on. I know you live near, I, you live near Dax, yeah. right? Dax Shepard, who is yeah. your yeah. brother on that show. What did you guys yes, live like, and then over, over the fence from each other or something like that? It's not quite that close. We live oh. in the same neighborhood. And then also I live with my other brother, Peter, who, who lives in my bedroom. Yes, so yes, that's, that's um, confusing. That is. Yeah. Yes, it's confusing for some people. <laughs> yeah, Dax, Dax is, has been working on his new house. And I, the way we're situated, I like pass him all the time. And he, it's a beautiful house. It's going to be incredible. But he basically took what others might consider to be the front lawn and turned it into a massive driveway for all his cars. He paved paradise. He turned it into a parking lot. Yeah. And put up a parking lot, literally. And he has this thing that I assumed was just for these times, which is the most massive, like, 
band tour bus you've ever seen. No. Oh, yeah, that's it. I pass this. I pass this every day, and I was like, "Gosh, when are they going to get rid of the you know bus that is clear?" Oh my gosh, what is out of his mind? And they're never getting rid of it, Jimmy. They're keeping it. That's a he bought that. Yeah, I know. He told me he actually sent us those pictures when he was here, and I was wondering if it was if it was causing any kind of concern in the neighborhood. And apparently, we gave it up is. a long time ago. We, you know, he, he rides around like topless on a motorcycle. You just you have to just love him. You really just have brother. to take it in. Yeah, yeah. Well. Hey, um, this uh, Mighty Ducks show that you're on, Game Changers. Yeah. So Emilio Estevez is playing the character that he played in the in the Mighty Ducks movie. Yes, and Gordon you, Bombay. You were not in the Mighty Ducks movie. <laughs> I was not. I was not in the Mighty Ducks movie. The twist is sort of we find the ducks now today. They've become a big successful team and the parents are all really competitive and there's it's tons of money and it's sort of the, the pilot asks the question like where's the where did the fun go what's the fun part and so I decide I'm gonna take uh, start a new team for my kid that's just all about the fun but we need an ice rink and there from emerging from the dry ice behind the Zamboni is Gordon Bombay so it sort of like picks up you know, kind of where where is he now? And he's just really charming and wonderful and funny. Yeah, maybe, but I'm the coach. Yeah. I'm the coach of the team. You're the coach. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe Dax mm -hmm. will pay, will build you an ice rink in the neighborhood while he's <laughs> <laughs> he's knocking down trees for RVs. <laughs> I actually would love that because my skating needs work. Uh, <laughs> the it was very hard to find an open ice rink in the um, in the pandemic. So yes, that, you know what I've been saying that for months, right, Guillermo? <laughs> That's <laughs> exactly. right, Jimmy. Yes, <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell Peter I said hello. New episodes of the Mighty Ducks Game Changers are Fridays on Disney Plus. Thank you, Lauren. Lauren Graham, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.